today I'm going to make some knife scales. I'm going to use epoxy for it and some pine cones. This is my setup. I made these uh, molds with uh, some uh, milk jugs. So they work uh, pretty uh, fine, but I should um, upgrade them by uh, buying some silicon molds. That would help me a lot. As you can probably tell, I already tried um, making pine cone scales. But the only problem with that is that it makes loads of little bubbles since I haven't got um, a pressure pot. So the idea I had was to use my um, well, this beaten up um, uh, grinder and it shakes a lot so I'm just going to put the um, scale on top of it so um, that all the uh, bubbles just rise up to the surface and then I can just uh, uh, pop them up with uh, a blowtorch. I'm going to put some pearl essence, so that's a um, mashed up pearl, and that gives like cool patterns, super cool patterns. Add in the um, the pearl stuff. So this pearl set is like 100 or 150 grams, and that costed me. Um, well, I paid it uh, for 10 euros, and that's so cool because this is going to last me for like decades. Because I only take this amount. And the, the result is just fantastic. Okay, I have enough. I haven't got enough um, epoxy in. Clearly not enough. I'm going to reiterate what happened yesterday. So, the fir I poured a first ball and it was alright but I didn't have enough epoxy. So I made another batch and I put a bit too much in, so it leaked out over here. So that's what that was quite annoying but it was fine, I could just clean it up and there we go. After that I was quite hungry so I made myself some pasta and uh, several may uh, minutes after that I uh, came back to see if uh, just to pop the bubbles off with my blowtorch and I saw that here um, there was a big exothermic reaction here and that may just cause by a bit too much uh, catalyst in my uh, mixture and I didn't really calculate it uh, properly enough and that may cause a load of little bubbles in my pore so I'm going to cut it here and here and just to see if it's alright
what have I learned while making this block? There will be loads of bubbles. If, uh, yeah, there will be just plenty of bubbles. You, don't, you need a vacuum chamber, chamber, or you just need to pour it super slowly. Second of all, you, the color or the, pig, the pearl pigment is just fantastic. Literally, um, it's it's wonderful. This time I'm going to try something different. I'm not going to pour the epoxy on the pine cones, but just on the uh, sides here, or on the gaps there. So it might prevent everything being just, uh, or all of the bubbles. I just don't want to mix the colors thoroughly. I just want to uh, pop the bubbles that are maybe in the pine here and most certainly in here in these little crevices here. No bubbles yet. So this is interesting here, we, we can, or I can just see only one bubble. The technique, yeah, technique is, well, if you haven't got a vacuum, vacuum chamber, just to use a toothpick and then just to, um, well, try to pop all of the bubbles off. And the difference is completely. Look at this. Compare this to this. Where all we can just see loads of holes here. So this is super cool, and I might make uh, some micarta, maybe with some jeans or something like that.